Okay, welcome to Podmap. Welcome back to yet another video. So uh, in this video, we will learn about volatility selling. Like how can we go ahead and sell volatility using options? So yesterday we learned about uh, option writing. What is option writing and how typically we get benefit when we write options. So one thing that option writing will do is so let's say if I have sold a put and if I have sold a call, so. I'll get the theta benefit. That's okay. I'll get it on both sides. But apart from this, I will have one more factor which is uh, affecting my option premium and that too, uh, you know, significantly and which I can predict and which is, uh, you know, much more uh, easier to predict. So which is implied volatility. So now implied volatility is, you know, expected volatility by the participants to play out in the stock in the future. Okay. So it is basically forecasted volatility. Now, if implied volatility in the market goes down, okay, so goes down the put premium and goes down the call premium. So implied volatility and the premiums, they are positively correlated. That is the first thing. So what I want is, I want if I go ahead and sell options, if I sell call option and put option at the same time, what I want is the implied volatility in the market should go down. So what will happen by this is eventually my premiums will melt. So how can I achieve that is by identifying the you know the sweet spot to write options using volatility so now how can we go ahead and achieve that way? so let's say or let's first understand what is uh, you know how implied volatility behaves so that we can easily identify where can we go ahead and create a short volatility trade so it's simple implied volatility has main reverting characteristics okay this is how it will typically behave it will You'll never see an implied volatility chart which is consistently like this or consistently like this. Okay. He traders, Quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you. Click the link in the description box below, complete your sign up process, and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry. Thank you. It will typically mean revert, and if it is at the top, it will cool down. If it is at the bottom, it may spike up. Now, how can I go ahead and actually create a trade on this? Okay. So if I want to go ahead and create an option writing trade then or option selling trade, or if I want to sell volatility, I will have to sell it at the top point. Okay. And when the implied volatility collapses from the top, both call and put option premiums will melt during this journey. Now what I don't need to do is I don't need to sell options when the implied volatility is at bottom. Why? Because it may show its mean reverting characteristics and it may bounce up from the bottom. So eventually, whenever the implied volatility goes around its upper region, that is the time I will try to create a short volatility trade. I will start selling volatility. How, go, how do I go ahead and achieve that is I will basically sell call and put option at the same time. So the moment implied volatility crashes, the moment implied volatility collapses, I'll get benefit from both call and put option. So it's easy. This is my trade. So in one line, what I need to achieve is I just need to find out which are the stocks where the implied volatility is at the top. So now doing this, we can do this easily by using concept uh, IV chart. Okay. So if you have a look on the IV chart, you'll be able to figure out if the implied volatility is at the bottom or if the implied volatility is at the top. Let's say for an instance, if you are placed on this day, okay. Let's say if you are placed on this day. So but, uh, let's imagine that you are placed on this day. So you obviously will have the access to historical implied volatilities. On this day, you'll be able to figure out that, okay, the implied volatility in an MDC is at the top. So here yeah, I can go ahead and sell volatility, right? I can create uh, an option writing trade. So typically I'll come to strategies part, but when I talk about selling volatility, what I want is I want to catch the implied volatility when it's at the top. Okay, so this is one way of doing it. Obviously, I need to come to this analytic and manually see which are the stocks where the implied volatility is at the peak, which is a bit difficult exercise, a bit tedious exercise to do. But still, if if someone wants to do it, then, you know, we can do it. It's not impossible. Yes, it is difficult. So introducing concept wall trader. So the concept that we learned that is being smoothened, more refined, right, more optimized, and that has been added into concept wall trader. So over here, it directly generates or directly identifies opportunities for us for 
you know, volatility trading. Short volatility indicates potential fall uh, in the implied volatility. Long volatility indicates potential rise in the implied volatility. Short volatility indicates that it is, uh, you know, trying to probable the outcome that uh, the implied volatility might collapse, wherein long volatility indicates that it is expecting that the implied volatility might go up. Okay. So if I just take you to chart, all these are open signals in the all panel. In the chart, we will get to see the historical signal. So now if you see NTPC, short volatility was sig short volatility signal was identified on, uh, you know, uh, 28th of September and it gave an exit on the next day itself. So how much return it gave in terms of percentage on implied volatility? Okay, this is not the strategy return. This is not the underlying return, but it is the return based on the movement of implied volatility. If there was short volatility, Entry implied volatility was 27.45. Exit implied volatility was 25.74. So basically, we got 1.7 percentage gain on implied volatility. How we got a gain on implied volatility? Because it was a short volatility trade. So the implied volatility collapsed and eventually we actually made benefit of the implied volatility over here. So now with wall trader, it is very simple. Short volatility. I need to go ahead and uh, sell volatility of those particular stocks. So now Question remains, how do I go ahead and achieve this? First thing is, see, I need to sell options. I need to sell call and put option both. That is very clear. I need to do that. But that will come with an undefined loss. I will be open to unknown loss on both of the sides. Right? I will be an open to unknown loss on the call side as well as the put side. Okay. So now what should I do? I will go ahead and actually, you know, hedge my position. So how go, I will go ahead and do it is, I will basically buy OTM call and OTM put so that I don't face an undefined loss. Plus, I will still have benefit of the fall in implied volatility. And I would say if you ask me, I will prefer selling volatility using iron condors, iron fly, than, uh, you know, by using uh, butterflies. These strategies will keep me hedged at all given point. I will not face an undefined loss, despite if there is a big moment happening in the underlying. So yes, folks, that was it from this video. So if you have liked the video, do hit the subscribe button, do hit the like button and see you all in the next video. Happy trading.